Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fahler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for August 5th, 2016. The weekend begins, so I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm wishing you a wonderful weekend ahead. We have the moon in Virgo today on the North Node. Now some of you already know what the North Node is. We've been talking a lot about the North Node. It's an energetic point in the sky. It's a portal of energy and it's a very... Um, strong point that is related to our destiny or to our future on this earth and when the moon that signifies our emotional world our internal world our feminine side our intuition is conjunct that point this could mean a day that is full of intuition and beacons of our destiny so to speak showing us what is the road that we need to be on what is the path that we need to be walking on? What it is that we came here to do? Just glimpses, but glimpses are enough to power you up for a very long time. Very long time. After that, we have a trine to Pluto today at around 1300 hours uh, Central European time. That's 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's a time that we can recognize our inner strength after going through challenges and understanding that we've graduated, so to speak, that we took it up a notch and we were capable of handling it and that we're stronger than we believed or we're afraid that we're not. And then at the nighttime in Europe and evening time onwards in the States, afternoon, evening time onwards in the States, the moon conjuncts Jupiter, Jupiter the great benefactor, Jupiter the benevolent, Jupiter the optimist, Jupiter the, the widener of horizons, the, bring, the, the, ones, the one who brings forth wisdom and, and, and blessings. And that means that our emotional needs and we feel that our emotional needs are met, that we feel much more optimistic, that we can feel much more benevolent ourselves and we can feel happy and content in our life. It can also mean that we are asking for a lot at this time, that, we are, that our emotional needs are heightened and widened at this time. And this is something we need to keep in check. Other than that, Two other things that I wanted to talk to you about. Mercury, the planet of communication and the way we navigate through life is standing in a square to Saturn. We can get into arguments regarding our, our ideas or our words with people who are elders to us or our authority figures in our life, so in our career environments. And it also means that we could be a little stuck on our own ideas and that we need to be more flexible and let some new ideas in. Venus, the planet of relationships and the way we get satisfaction in our life and monetary and, and physical um, gain, is also squaring Mars. And that can mean that we are less patient with loved ones in our lives or with the way that we bring wealth into our life or satisfaction in our life and we can get into arguments or conflicts because we have a shorter fuse and we need to watch that as well. So I hope you're going to have a very positive weekend and I want to thank you again for listening and for giving me the support uh, that I receive from you every day. Thank you. This is Boaz Feiler. Goodbye.